Are you ready to be back at Opryland? We're making tremendous progress bringing this hotel back. We've got over a thousand people working here every day. The new restaurants are being constructed right now. The rooms are almost complete. The lobby, the whole entry experience is going to be brand new. Uh, we've redesigned the Cascades lobby. We're going to have twice as many check-in stations as we used to. There's nothing better than having a full hotel and getting customers back through these doors. Customers that have been with us before and also those customers that haven't. I think will re-energize who we are as a company. We're standing here outside the Ryman Studios and we have the Ryman Ballroom on, on to my right. Uh, this space was heavily damaged. We had to replace all the walls, the studs, the wallpaper, the carpet. Um, so as you can see, within a few days, we'll be ready to host business. Uh, the exhibit hall had about eight foot of Cumberland River in it. And the water here originally was up around the eight foot mark which is a little taller than me, uh, but, but nevertheless, we've had to redo the total exhibit hall. And as you can see, it's ready for business now. Uh, we're looking forward to hosting several big meetings in the end of November and throughout the uh, end of the year of 2010. We're standing in the Ryman Studios, which is adjacent to the Ryman Exhibit Hall. As we sit today, the exhibit halls are ready for, uh, to move in meetings. The ballrooms are ready to move in meetings. Uh, as you can see behind me, this space will be ready in just a couple of days. Uh, we're doing punch lists on the rooms uh, this week and next week. Uh, so we'll clearly be ready to go November 15th. There were only about 100 rooms that were damaged in the flood. This room had uh, water up to the ceiling, if you can believe that. In these rooms in particular, we took uh, all the drywall off the walls, took it down to the metal studs, we cleaned the metal studs, we pulled all the carpet out, we cleaned the concrete floor beneath the carpet, and then we came back in and replaced all that with brand new drywall, brand new vinyl wall covering, brand new carpet, brand new furniture. It feels fantastic. We also took the opportunity during this closure of the hotel to renovate an additional 600 rooms in the Magnolia Wing of the hotel. Ice will take place in the tent over my shoulder. That will be about a 17,500 square foot tent that we're erecting. And then the pre-show area off my shoulder to the left will be about another 8,000 square feet. Our theme for uh, ICE this year is Santa Claus is Coming to Town, the beloved TV show that was made popular in the 70s. We expect great response to that. Snow is going to be really a cool addition to our country Christmas this year. Uh, in the area adjacent to ICE, we're going to take that area where the Tennessee Walking Horses used to be and fill that whole corralled in area with about 18 to 20 inches of snow. And in that area, families can come in, they can build snowmen. We'll have reindeer in that area. And it's an area that families who don't really get the opportunity to play in snow and have fun in snow can do that here at Opryland. Everything will be available on the 18th. That includes Rockettes, Ice and Snow, Louise Mandrell and her new show, The Gift, as well as everything that we do down in Winter Wonderland. And if people really want to find out more about A Country Christmas, they need to go to Christmas at GaylordOpryland.com.